Today I'm going to talk about a manga that was published originally in 2002 and it's called Ichigo 100%. It was created by mangaka Mizuki Kawashita for the Shueisha Shonen Jump. The first time I heard about this manga was recommended by this man who is manga lord. He's an Argentinian man who lives in Finland. He has the whole collection and he said that it was a very funny, very good manga. So that was the first time I heard about this manga. So a lot of time passed and then I saw another video from this uh, manga tuber that is called manga tuber Leo. He is from Argentina too. And he said that there was a problem, a discussion between the publisher from this manga here in Argentina uh, that is called Ivrea with a comic book store that was chosen the best comic book store in the whole world uh, last year by the Will Eisner Prize and so they left all these uh, old mangas, old editions at uh, the price that it was uh, a lot of years ago and as you may know here in Argentina we have a terrible economy that is full of inflation so uh, leaving a price without changing for more than one year you are losing a lot of money so they left this at the price that was uh, before and so they cost only 250 pesos when a normal manga costs 500 uh, pesos or more so it's a bargain so I went to the online page and I bought these uh, two first tanko bonds to see if I like the story they arrived in less than a week that here in Argentina it's a record and the delivery was completely free so it was very very cheap the edition is very old and you can tell because the pages are a little bit yellowish and at that time the publisher didn't have two covers there was only one cover and it was repeated from both sides also the size was much more smaller so I bought this because I wanted to read something lighter because I was reading only seinen and series that are uh, much more serious so I wanted to read something like, something to have fun. I was very surprised with the detail in the drawings because this is a slice of life and usually they don't have much more detail. I read a few pages of Nana and other slices of life or Shoujos and they don't have a lot of details but actually this uh, mangaka uh, likes to put details. Of course, the drawing has not the amount of detail that Masaka Tsukatsura has, but you still uh, can get a lot of details from the backgrounds. And there's something I really like about this uh, mangaka that she likes to put these very big illustrations to start a chapter. And they are very well done. And she also likes to have uh, some pages that are only one drawing that covers the whole page. I think the story is very original and very bizarre because it's about a young man, a teenager, who falls in love, let's say, or he's obsessed, he's obsessed with a, a girl, a young girl, because he saw her in a few seconds and she had a panty with a strawberries. So he's obsessed because he's a filmmaker or he wants to be a filmmaker, he wants to film that ass with that skirt and that panties with a uh, strawberry so uh, he gets involved in a lot of uh, problems because he wants to get this girl and he wants to know her but he doesn't have any idea of who is she and searching for this girl who has panties with strawberries he ends up getting to know and he dates the most beautiful girl in that school according to what the characters say so I was very surprised when in the first Tanko Bomb, number one, he is dating with this beautiful girl and usually in this type of manga, the main character uh, is trying to get a girl for almost all the story or at least a, a few numbers. But believe me, uh, this mangaka uh, has a lot of ideas to complicate things and making his life difficult. Actually, most of the comedy in this manga comes from Manaka, the main character, overcomplicating things all the time. His anxiety is through the roof and he's always anxious and he's always 
doubtful about what he should do or what he should say and all these doubts, all these thoughts that he has ends up getting him in a lot of trouble and also a lot of comedy of this story comes from his indecisions because he has a lot of beautiful girls that are uh, attracted to him and he doesn't know uh, which one to choose so he's always having doubts and getting into trouble and messy situations uh, because he doesn't want to make them jealous but he still doesn't know what he wants so usually you are uh, laughing about how he screws up everything he tries to do also he has terrible friends that are always jealous of him or are trying to do something against him so I think that's very funny and also he has a lot of imaginary situations where he gets lots in his thoughts his pervert thoughts so that's very funny too it reminds me a lot of Rama and a Half it, it is simple comedy uh, like a sitcom slice of life also has a lot of romance but it is very very light very uh, relaxing to read very funny you read these uh, tanko bones like nothing they go away very fast so those are my first impression of Ichigo 100 in the first two Tankamons. When I finish reading this series, I'm going to do a final review about the whole story, what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. So please stay put and stick around to see uh, my uh, other reviews and uh, my other first impressions from other series. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe, at least give a like because it helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm to get more recommended. Thank you very much.